Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture is going to be about uh, classification of waxes. In front of your screens, uh, on your screens, you, you are viewing a screenshot which is taken from Craig's Restorative Dental Materials. And this table is regarding one of the ways in which you can classify waxes. Before I start classifying the waxes, let me tell you that there are two terms which we will going to be use, which we will be using. Uh, first one is the waxes, and the second one is dental waxes. Now, this classification, which is on the basis of origin, is of waxes as well as of dental waxes, which means you can classify waxes on the basis of whether they are natural or synthetic, and you can classify dental waxes on the same basis that they may contain components which have natural origin or synthetic origin. So the first way of classifying waxes or dental waxes is on the basis of origin and that is the waxes may have natural origin, natural source or they may be synthetic. In natural source or natural waxes you can subclassify or subdivide it into four categories. The waxes may have a mineral origin, they, have, they may have a plant origin, they may have an insect origin or an animal origin. Mineral waxes include a very common, very famous wax, paraffin wax, microcrystalline wax, kerosene wax, mountain wax, etc. Plant origin waxes may include carnauba wax, candelilla wax, Japan wax, and coca butter wax. Insect origin may include beeswax, and animal origin, origin may include spermacity wax. Now, uh, all the waxes that I mentioned here, the natural waxes, they have hydrocarbons in their molecular structure except for two waxes which are Japan wax and coca butter wax. Now this is something important. Remember Japan wax and coca butter wax which are basically plant origin waxes in the category of natural waxes are not the true waxes. Why? Because these two waxes Japan wax and coca butter they do not contain hydrocarbon in their molecular structure rather they are fats. They consist of fats uh, and thus they are not labeled as true waxes. Now these were the natural waxes, mineral, mineral, plant, insect and animal origin. The other uh, category is of synthetic waxes. Waxes may be artificially produced. For example, Acrowax, Castrowax, Flexowax C, Duravax and etc. So this is one way of classifying waxes or dental waxes that is on the basis of origin from where the waxes originate whether natural or synthetic and in natural what can be the source mineral plant insect or animal now moving on to the second type of classification which is specifically of dental waxes you cannot say that the other classification can also be of the general waxes it's simply or exclusively for dental waxes the second way of classifying dental waxes is on the basis of their this is the classification on the basis of their use or on the basis of the indication on the basis of use you can classify dental waxes in three main categories either the waxes would be used for making pattern and thus that category would, would be named as pattern waxes or you can use the wax in some processing during uh, fabrication of any appliance or prosthesis and that wax would be termed as processing wax and this wax may also be used in uh, during the uh, clinical or lab uh, cl clinical procedure on the chair side so pattern waxes processing waxes and third one is impression waxes waxes with which you will be taking some kind of impression in pattern waxes you have three main types of waxes and these are the three waxes which are used to form wax patterns so whenever you want to write the use of these three waxes you have to start with the sentence that the wax that is used to make wax pattern off and then you will be adding whatever the use is so three types of pattern waxes inlay wax casting wax and base plate wax which is the base plate wax is also known as modeling wax uh, the second category is processing wax. Um, first one include, includes boxing wax, 
then utility wax and sticky wax there is a little, there is a small easy mnemonic to remember the processing waxes is bus bus boxing utility and sticky wax and under the third category impression waxes you have corrective wax and bite waxes a bite registration wax so these are the two uh, ways in which you can classify waxes and dental waxes the first one was on the basis of origin in which you had natural and synthetic and in natural you had mineral wax plant wax animal and insect waxes and in synthetic you had three or four waxes acro wax flexa wax etc and the second way of classifying dental waxes is on the basis of their use whether they are used for making patterns they are used in processing or they are used for impression in pattern you have inlay casting and base plate wax in processing you have boxing utility sticky wax and in impression you have corrective and bite waxes um, let me elaborate a little bit uh, sheet waxes ready shape and wax up casting waxes may be uh, dispensed maybe may, you may get these wax in the form of sheets or there may be ready made shapes available of the different types of, uh, of appliances you want to fabricate for example they may come in the form in the shape of clasps now i hope this lecture um, this mini lecture was a little bit informative and stay tuned for more subscribe to this channel for more lectures thank you so much